is Carmen San Diego. Quit tangling the flow lines, then. Oh, I can steal the gold off this roof without you telling me what to do. Uh. Uh. Ah! Santiago Mingo! It's all your fault! It's all your fault! I didn't need you to... My fault! I didn't need you! Look! Carmen. So, two of my loyal staff decided to pull a job on their own, hmm? Well, I would never have planned such a disorganized crime. Now get on or get caught. He wanted to make we up for the job. Oh, demise. stop it. I should leave you here for the police. Scratch that. We're not gonna make it. Ah! It's all your fault. We would have taken right off if you weren't such a muscle bone. It's all your fault. I didn't, I didn't need, need you. you to... It's all your fault. Two of your claws in crime almost got you caught, Carmen. That's because they didn't heed my cardinal rule player. Think out your plan like a woman of action. Then act out your plan like a woman of thought. Hey, Lule. Can I tell you? A lot of you, a lot of you, a Carmen's cohorts try to melt down a 2,500-year-old Buddhist shrine. Stag buddy, hang ten on a brainwave. This 326-foot tower is covered with gold. You're looking at about, oh, don't have to be carry the floor, $90 million worth of roof here. But, Chief, it doesn't add up. Okay, I'll recheck my addition. Carmen would never try to steal something just because it's worth a lot of money. 
Well, in fact, eyewitnesses do say Carmen didn't exactly show up until the robbery was botched by Dara Riska and Al Loy, two of her more hot-headed henchmen. Think they would have tried this job on their own? It's from Carmen! She's here? Come on! Ivy will never find her in this crowd. Besides, these pictures must be some kind of clue. Dr. Martin Luther King. He was a great civil rights leader back in the 1960s. One day, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. And this one's of Mother Teresa. A Roman Catholic nun in her 80s who has spent more than 65 years helping the people in Calcutta, India. Look, Henry Kissinger. Hey, he was the American Secretary of State under Presidents Nixon and Ford. I just don't get what Carmen's trying to tell us. Maybe the clues in whatever these three have in common. Didn't each of them win the Nobel Prize? Hey, Alfred Nobel! This guy made millions from his invention of... Dynamite! And he wanted it to be only used for peaceful purposes. So he became embittered when his explosives wound up being used by, guess who, the military. No! And he used the millions he made to set up the Nobel Prizes, giving them out to people who did things that had the greatest benefit to mankind. Oh. Ivy, the Nobel Prizes are awarded in Stockholm, Sweden every year. I bet that's where Carmen is. Uh-uh, not so fast, Zach. King, Kissinger, and Mother Teresa all won the Peace Prize, which is the only Nobel Prize given out in another country, Oslo, Norway. Then, player, seat five us to Oslo. Carmen's trail just went online big time. Whoa! Okay, sleuthmeisters, you're on your way through this doorway to Norway, the original home of the Vikings. This country has some of the largest reindeer herds in the world. Hey, Santa Claus, the new models are in. And almost everybody here learns to ski as soon as they can walk. Oh, what's that guy doing, Chief? Norway's up in the Arctic Circle. It can't have very good farmland. You said it. Lousy soil, cold weather. So we never farmed much. And we never, never wore these stupid hats. Oh, 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 oh they did turn to the sea. In fact, today, Norway's fishing and shipping industries rank among the world's finest. And when they're not on the water, Norwegians enjoy an international sport they invented. Boom, ski jumping! Hot tip from Crime Net, kids. Carmen just stole this ancient longboat from the Viking Ship Museum. Let's go! was the original home of the Vikings. 
Norway was the original home of the Vikings. One, little bro that was too close no free rides this crime you'll have to work for this one unidentified floating object off the port bow object identified special delivery clue from Carmen San Diego a ringing bell what's Carmen up to now uh, player, info scan famous bells a sec. Okay. You got your Liberty Bell, symbol of America's independence, housed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ah, uh, next. You got your Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone. My first call! Hello? Sorry, wrong number. Zach, wait! Maybe we've got the wrong number, too. This doll's wearing a Greek tunic. Translator scan, translator scan. A tunic is a simple slip-on garment, and back in ancient Greece, guys could wear their sisters' hand-me-downs because tunics were worn by both women and men. Well, wait a minute, rewind, Chief. Cross-reference ancient Greece with rings. Why rings, Zach? The bell rang five times, Ivy, so the clue could be five rings, the same number that make up the modern Olympic symbol. And the first known Olympic games were played over 2,500 years ago in ancient Greece by guys wearing tunics. Player, background scan the Olympics for what Carmen might be after. Ivy, you think maybe Carmen's gonna break into this year's Olympics and make off with the gold medal? Nah, the games don't start for four more weeks. Better keep scanning. Let the games begin. And check this out. The opening ceremony is still the same as it was at the first Olympics. A torch is lit with a fire started by the sun's rays. Then a runner starts a relay to the country hosting that year's games. And if there's no land to run on, the torch is sometimes carried in airplanes or on board ships. All to get it to the opening ceremony. Where its eternal flame symbolizes peace and the struggle all of mankind must endure to uphold unity and togetherness. Chief, how long will it take the torch to go from Olympia Valley to the stadium this year? Ah, uh, four weeks. The games aren't exactly four weeks. Zach, that means the torch gets lit today. Then player, C5 us to Olympia, Greece, and break any Olympic records you have to on the way. And they're off, running neck and neck from Oslo, Norway, to the country of Greece. Ah, Greece, home of spectacular Greek architecture, like the Acropolis, and Greek drama, with some of the first plays ever written down. Many about Greek myths and legends, starring Zeus and other famous Greek gods. <laughs> Zach, they're lighting the Olympic torch. And here comes the first runner. Hey, isn't the first runner supposed to carry the torch all the way out of Olympia Valley? Come on! What was a hot fashion back in ancient Greece worn by both men and women? In ancient Greece, both men and women wore slip-on garments called tunics. You okay? Uh, sure. The ground broke my fall. If it's bad news, I don't want to hear it. Don't mind him. Go ahead, Chief. This just in from CrimeNet. Carmen's henchman just stole a U.S. Marine Special Forces obstacle course. And Carmen herself took the famous Hammurabi's Code. Whoa, that's the oldest set of written laws ever found, huh, Chief? What good is a set of laws to a lawbreaker like Carmen? Wait a minute, Chief. Info scan the Shui Dagon Pagoda and all the stolen items at once. 
What are you up to, little bro? The eyewitnesses said Carmen had to bail out Dara Riska and Alloy when they blew the robbery at the Schwa Dagon Pagoda, right? Then the next time they show up, Carmen's making them work out together in that Viking longboat. Which takes mucho teamwork, just like this obstacle course. Okay, but if Carmen's trying to teach her team how to work together, how does Hammurabi's code fit in? It's a reminder of how people have always followed laws to get along together. And Carmen's word is her henchman's law. Zach, what do you want to bet she's prepping her team for a head-to-head -head rematch with the Shueda Gon Pagoda? And she'll use the Olympic torch as the starting signal. That's a bet I know you'd win. Clear, C5 us back to Yangon. There's a famous saying that goes, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And I don't want any weak links in my chain tonight. Vile team members work together. How I tell you, when I tell you. You're the weak link in this chain. Hey, I'll outdo you any day, Dara. Now let's go steal this landmark the way it should be stolen. Go! Carmen's guys! We will, if you're willing to get wet. <sighs> the perfect Trojan water truck, eh, Ivy? Team leader, report. Team in position. Commence access. Go, hydraulic lifts. Lifts inserted. Attach hoses, go. All units commence pumping. Stroke, stroke, stroke. I'll show her who's the weak link here. My side's almost done, Dara. You're big, but I'm better and faster. It's time to nail Carmen. Whoa! Look out! We're getting sucked out! You too, little bro. Al, why are you going so fast? You broke the rhythm. It's Dara. She's too slow. Me? It's him, Carmen. Enough of your bickering. Just get it together. Stroke. Stroke. Excuse me. Key. Huh? Ah! <gasps> Ivy, look. The big owner roof's starting to break away. And when it does, Carmen will inflate this balloon and carry it off. You gotta stall her until I can loosen this collar. Pump three, what's going on over there? Your side's too low. No, uh, your side's too high. What's going on? Why aren't you working as a team? Uh, Carmen, it's uh, Tim and Dara. Those guys are total geekwads. What? Who is that? Uh, I can't hear you. Uh, too much static. Hey, you! Uh, hang on, Zach! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Oh. I got him covered, Ivy! Go find Carmen! Happy New Year, everybody! Here's for all those misdeeds! Hiding in the shadows, Carmen? I understand. That's how I always feel when my team loses. And you'd know about that, Ivy. Don't be a sore loser. Zack and I just make a better team than your goons. I'd love to stay here on the sidelines and chat, Ivy. But this game just went into overtime. <gasps> huh? oh. She got away, little bro. Yeah, well, at least our teamwork's putting Dara Riska, Alloy, and Timber away for good. Uh, Ivy? How are we supposed to get this thing back to Norway? Stroke! Stroke! Oh, nice guy, eh?
I guess all work and no play wasn't the right game plan for me after all. Well, next time, detectives. Next time. You trained hard, Carmen, but my team was better. It wasn't the Olympics, player, and I don't have to wait two years to win my next gold. Until next crime.